Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Welcome to Ganesh AIS Academy. This is the special session in which we are going to discuss about the previous year questions of prelims UPSC. Okay. In which we are going to discuss a topic from the economy. Okay. So, in this discussion, we are purely focused on how to crack the question. Okay. How to find a key within the question and also how to approach the upcoming prelims. Okay. In this session also, we will discuss certain economic topics also. Okay. So, it is all about covering certain terms and topics from the economy and also we will discuss about the forthcoming questions. How will be the questions in the next year? Okay. So, how to crack the questions okay, in the upcoming exam? Okay. All these things will be covered in this session. Okay. So, let us begin the session. Okay. See, with reference to the international trade of India at present, which of the following statement is right? See, actually, if you have a basic knowledge about Indian economy, okay, what is the contribution made by the three sectors of the economy? Okay, if you have the basic knowledge, means you can easily answer these kinds of questions. Okay, they will make certain trap within the questions to make you psychologically fear of this question. Okay, but that thing is easily you can eliminate it. Okay, going through the options, you can easily eliminate any statement. Okay, so these this kinds of question is most easiest question, but don't fall into the trap. Okay, that is the thing I have to say. Okay, first of all, you have to know the basic things. Okay. Primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector, okay, in which tertiary sector is contributing more towards the economy, around 60 percentage of the India GDP is from the service sector, okay. Second is only the secondary sector, okay, it is contributing around some 28 percentage or things so, okay. Next, last is the primary sector, okay, which is contributing again around some 12 percentage, okay. So, such a way the economy okay so india's economy is totally depends mostly on the service sector okay so by making the service sector growth india's economy is growing okay so service sector is contributing larger towards the india's gdp next level is only the manufacturing sector okay last is actually the primary sector see it is one of the unique thing of the india see usually how the economic st structure will grow is based like first primary sector will start to grow okay next secondary sector will start to grow next only the tertiary sector will start to grow but what happened in india is after a primary sector the growth is started in the tertiary sector then only the secondary sector started to grow okay this is how the india's economic growth is being like okay so why it is happened okay there is a lot more reasons okay but the reason behind is first thing is we are uh, colonized by the british okay so there is a huge influx of or the huge uh, knowledge about the english okay so it become a global language so that itself make it as a india as a major it hub okay so that it gave the potential to be the growth in the communication okay so that led to the huge growth in the service sector okay so this is the major one of the reason okay so there are many other reasons okay why the uh, secondary sector not grown okay the reason behind why the secondary sector or the manufacturing sector is not grown means the reason behind is there are uh, for the manufacturing sector means we need a lot more investments okay so in the infant stage of the independent of india okay infant stage of economy in 1947 after 1947 we need lot more investments to grow the manufacturing sector okay that investment potential is not happened in india okay so the investment inflow is actually not happened in india so that is one of the reason for the not the growth in the manufacturing sector okay but we made lot of things related to the industrial policies we made in a in 1954 also we made okay in 1980s we made certain inter industrial policy like this we made lot more things but still india is in the slow and st slow mannerly the india is growing in the manufacturing sector okay so that is also one of the reason behind high unemployment in india okay there is a huge growth in the manufacturing sector means a lot of population just get into the man manufacturing sector with the employment okay so that is one of the reason for the huge unemployment in india okay so India, what the India is made is 
they just jump from the primary sector to the tertiary sector without considering the manufacturing sector or a secondary sector okay so this is the basic idea of the indian economy okay with this knowledge okay we can answer this question let's begin the session okay first statement india's merchandise export is less than its merchandise import okay so merchandise export import is nothing but it is based on the goods okay so what we are trading through the goods okay so normally the trade will happen based on the either it's a goods okay or else in the services okay so what it is saying is india's merchandise export is less than okay which means export is less than import in goods so yes we already said that india's manufacturing sector is in the slow process of growth okay it is contributing only 28 percentage to the economy okay which means lot of the goods we are using is not actually manufactured in india we are actually importing in importing from other nations okay so that is the thing is happening okay because we are not we actually we were not focused on the manufacturing sector so that led to the huge import okay so lot of goods we are importing okay not we are exporting okay so that is the thing okay so by that itself the first statement is become right okay next go for a second statement india's import of iron and steel chemicals fertilizers and machineries have decreased in recent year okay which means see this is the trap in this question okay i don't know i just know about the basic knowledge about the indian economy okay but this statement spam who is more specific okay it is speaking about the import of the iron and steel chemicals fertilizer machineries okay with that things i don't know okay if i need to know this means i have to learn about what are the things that are said in the budget okay so all these things things will be listed in the budget okay but i i actually didn't know about the what are the things that are said in the budget okay so in such a scenario what can i do just leave the second statement go for the next statement because by knowing the first statement is right you are eliminating b and c okay so you have to only find whether the a is right or the d is right okay so i don't know about the two but if i find whether the three is right or the four is right means i can easily go for option d okay so just leave the second statement and go for the third statement okay so find the third statement india's export of services are more than the import of services exactly okay actually tertiary sector is contributing 60 percentage of the india gdp which means we are actually exporting the services okay we do the uh, kpo services dpo services okay lot of services we are doing towards the foreign nations okay so there is a huge exports of services is happened okay so with this knowledge itself you can say that the third statement is right okay so one is correct and three is correct means the option will be d okay by that itself you can easily go for answer okay so don't fall into the trap okay so by just reading the second statement oh i don't know this question how i am going to answer just to, just jump to the next question like don't do like that okay just to focus on the next statement also okay find try to eliminate the statements okay by the way just to go for options okay so this is the major thing you have to follow in the exam okay let's uh, discuss about the fourth statement also india suffer from an overall trade and current account deficit yes obviously okay because we are importing lot of goods manufactured in outside india okay so the current account is in the deficit okay so the export is lower and import is higher means the current account will be deficit okay so the fourth statement is also right okay by that itself you can go for the answer as 1 3 4 okay so this is how you have to approach the question okay so don't ever fall into any traps okay there is certain key there is certain rope within that question itself okay just strongly strongly hold that rope and just move on to the next question and find the answers okay so such a way you have to do that okay and also i make certain uh, certain data is related to this question okay present day data okay see this so merchandise import and export okay so the import is higher and the export is lower okay in the merchandise okay whereas in the service sector 
the export is higher and the import is lower okay so overall what is it means actually we are in the current account deficit okay because we are importing lot more goods more than that of we are exporting lot of services okay so by that we are in the current account deficit okay so these are the things you have to be more clear okay and also i listed the statement related to that okay see these are the data about the second statement okay which said that there is a decreases in the export or import of the uh, fertilizers all the things they just said it okay iron steel all these things okay so these the data should be like this in that budget okay so what you have to focus is just to go as a glance okay so what are the things have the positive growth of export okay what are the sectors that are showing the positive growth of export consider this statement okay 17 of the 30 key sector exhibit the positive growth okay so you just have certain glance related to it okay so the glance itself make you to remember that data in your exams okay so such a way you have to focus it okay don't try to memorize all the things okay just have certain glance okay so by that itself you can easily answer these kinds of questions okay so this is the one thing you have to follow okay thank you